This is being recorded for the LEC Volume. I'm David Bain, uh, CITEC 803A. I want to talk about Ethernet cables and especially the tools we use to work with them. When we work the cables, it's uh, pretty spe pretty specific which tools we use. These are the five most common pieces. First off, we have the Ethernet jack itself, the Ethernet plug. There are eight conductors. We'll talk about this quite a lot later. The wire comes in here and comes to the end here. These copper or brass pieces push into the wire and make your connection. Of the tools, let's look at the first one, electrician scissors. These are exceedingly sharp. You notice that it was in a pouch. Please keep them in the pouch because they are very sharp. If you look at the blade itself, one edge is serrated, the other edge is not. Now if you were to use these to cut paper it would actually dull the paper. If you were to cut your hand with it as it passes through your skin it's not going to be real happy. As it cuts through the bone it will sharpen the blades. That is really a bad idea. You notice the scar on my finger from that. It's not from this particular pair. Um, but even when it's just sitting on my desk here for this demo I'm going to keep it in its pouch. I want you to always keep them in their pouch. They are designed to cut wire, so we actually will use these to cut our wires. The next tool is our crimp tool. This is a multi-point crimp. First off, it ratchets closed. That way, you can't get hurt by having it sit in a toolbox, grabbing it, it closes, and you get cut on the blade. So always keep it closed when not in use. It has three settings. First is an 8 conductor, 8P, eight 8-pin. Eight that's what we'll be using in this class for Ethernet. You also have a 6P. Sometimes you'll see phone wires with 6P. And then on the back, you have 4P, four conductors, four pins. This is for use in regular RJ11 jacks at home. That's not an accident because they are very closely related. This tool does have a wire cutter. We're not going to use it in this class. I'd rather you use a different tool for that. It also has a wire stripper. Again, I don't want you to use that. I've ratcheted it closed. Please leave it closed when it's not actively in use. Our third tool is a teardrop, teardrop stripper. It's a wire stripper. It's a, called a teardrop stripper because this looks like a teardrop. Notice that when I open it, I reveal the little bit of a blade in there. It is sharp and I have a larger blade here. That'll cut you. Be careful. It is spring-loaded so that it automatically stays closed. That's a real great safety thing until your hand was in there and you accidentally lost control, shut it on your hand. Now you got blood all over my tools. It is an adjustable tool, but I'd rather you not adjust it yourself. If you do need to, if it's not cutting properly, let me know and I'll help you with it. And so that's your stripper. The final tool is the link runner. This is a network test tool. It's a cable test tool. You can barely see it in your image, but this looks like the, the link runner itself, and then it's just looking for something that has a twist to it. There are two what appear to be Ethernet jacks on the top, one marked LAN, one marked MAP. We'll be using the LAN port every time you crimp one of these, every time you've got a wire working, you will test it to make sure that it's correct. And that's the tools we'll use with the Ethernet. Ask when you have questions.